my cat's in the back room on my bed just watching my, my fans spin. Hi, kitty. Oh. Yeah, I'm over here. You're in my room. You're in my domain. Hi, Ocean. You're in my domain, cat. I live here. This is, this is where I am. I'm trying out. What are you looking at? Why do you just keep looking at the fan? I do have worms on strings attached to my fan, so that's that's probably why she's so interested in it, because it's just it's just a toy hanging from my fan. Whatever keeps him entertained. I don't know where my other one went. Where's my other cat? I hell if I know. Maybe he's somewhere. He's free from the confines of my room. What are you doing back there? What are you looking at now? She's so cute. He, she's so evil and so cute. I love her so much. Anyways. You know what time it is? You know what time it is? That's right, baby. It's time for, um... What the hell is it called? Like, Canto three and a half? That one. That's what we're doing. If it'll let me click it. Jesus Christ, that was the most terrifying stare I think I've ever seen from a cat. I actually don't know how to explain what that looked like. It, it was- it was- You ever had like a cat stare at you just un unblinking and terrifyingly? Yeah, that's what that was like. I'm testing to see if my chat is gonna work today. We'll see here in, here in a second. Probably not. You know what? Okay, who cares? What can you do about it? Sometimes my stream elements chooses to work, other times it doesn't. In other days, I don't give a shit to enough to 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 to, to, to da, 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 figure that out. We're here to play Limbus. We're here to game. I've been put on this earth to fucking game. Oh hey, what's up? You got my feet now. Hi kitty. What are you doing? She's oddly spooked by me. I spook her. Oh god, what's happening? I'm dropping frames, dropping my silly frames. Hold on, I need to move my laptop. I put it in front of me because I was like, ooh, you don't need you don't need your keyboard to play Limbus Company, but then I need my keyboard to do basically anything else streaming wise, and I need to see like the bottom quarter of my screen. That's like the most important part. So here we are. What are you doing down there? What are you doing? She's got a little bit of, of kitty brain damage, but she's so so sweet, so cute, so baby. She's the cutest little girl. Ooh, baby. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, baby. Yeah, ooh, baby. Yeah, ooh, yeah. Yeah, ooh, baby. I'm finding Lego pieces all over my desk because I was playing with Legos earlier. Like an insane person. Hell's chicken. I turn my fan off whenever I stream because the noise is always way too much, but then it's just hot as balls in my room. I do it for the stream. What are you doing down there? What are you doing? I can't remember where I left off with this. All the way over here. I played a few, like levels because I was really bored on on my big my big Chicago trip because I was you know on a bus for eight hours so I played like a few levels just so I could have enough lunacy to like do a poll because I was just so bored but I don't think it was really much I, I, I didn't I didn't miss out on much possibility of content all I'm gonna say I think I think we're okay. Oh, I I did get 
However, a Marisolt ego. I got Pursuance for Marisolt. Also, why he got a bowl cut? Who gave this man a bowl cut? I don't think I got anything else. Did I have this Ishmael last time? I might not have had this Ishmael last time. Ishmael. Who knows? To war. To war we go. What do you think, kitty? What are you doing down there? I love Gregor Samsa. We all love Gregor Samsa. <laughs> Hello there, Golden WYZ. Do you also love Gregor Samsa? I hope you do. We love Gregor Samsa here. My cat's still down there. Yeah, she's just chilling. Hi. Yesterday, my cat wanted to get on my lap as I was at my computer, and he just like was watching VTubers with me. He really likes Ike Evelyn, it seems. I do enjoy any Grigor. Yeah! Woo! As you should. That is the correct answer. I'm down bad for Hongli right now. Aren't we all? I think I should move to, like, the other corner so you can see the names. Whoop! Oh, there's the fairy. We're gonna, we're gonna ignore the fairy for right now. One second. You think I'm gonna pay $15 for, like, the VTube studio without a watermark? No. I'm just gonna hide the fairy any chance I get. GG, easy. I'm so tiny. It's just easy like that. Lamau. Mostly an Otis enjoyer? You know, that's not a bad that's not a bad one to enjoy either. Could be worse. You could be um I don't know, like a Herman enjoyer. You could be down bad for the war criminal MILF. Hmm. Can anyone tell me what this food is meant to be? It is quite simple. Manager Esquire, is not chocolate such a delicacy? Thus we put it in the cooking. Oh god. This reminds me of one time when I was like a child. I tried to make Mexican chocolate by putting hot sauce in chocolate. It was awful. Is that Horton Camsey? <laughs> Bro. It's him, Horton Camsey. Next, I utilize oranges as substitutes for potatoes. Ugh! Or I must dislike the, the tuber? The tuber? Dom, what do you mean by that? But who do you think you are to take spuds out like that? You're a right baffling bird. Why do the British talk like that? Why do the British just speak like that? They make no sense. Exactly, the VTuber. That's, that's what was going through my head. I'm like, she doesn't like the VTuber? Man. Sorry, Queen. Am I one of the good VTubers? Okay, but why is the chicken so brutally torn to bits? It was customary in our town to rip chickens into bite-sized pieces using one's hands. It was a treat to remember. Okay. And what's this black thing? Why is a lump of coal in the pan? Complaining an awful lot for a mouthless cuss. Do you even know how to eat this stuff? How does Dante eat? How do they eat? Do, do they eat? Do they? Is it just like they kind of like put it under the clock and it just kind of absorbs into it? If you like smack a pie on Dante's face, can they taste it? What up, cuz? What up, Tet? Sagged. Oh, I hate you. What's up, with, what's up with Limbus Company enjoyers and hags? What do you think, kitty? She's just sitting there. Ugh. Oh. The chickens rush at us under the distorted restaurant owner's short yet decisive order. They simply cannot eat? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. What? Chew me out?
Wait, where is that coming from? Oh, one second. I think my cat wants to be let in. Hold on. Bicycle spoke and HDMI cable are together once again. Stop licking your balls, bro. Damn it. Anyways. Wow, that entire time it didn't finish loading. I, I need to explode. I need to explode. Ooh, she's stalking him. I'm just narrating what my cats are doing right now. So until Olympus loads. Never mind. Cats are irrelevant. It's chicken time, baby. It's chicken time. Youch. Oh, what the hell? Okay, whatever. You hear my chair squeaking? Chicken time, chicken time, chicken time. Uh I don't know. I don't I don't think I need to think too hard about the chickens. Cats, what are you doing? The chickens are grooving? Exactly. Sometimes I feel bad when I hit them because they cry. Look at them. They're just little guys. They're just silly. They're just a little silly with it. They're just a little funny hee hee silly. Donkey ate one for fun. What's wrong with her? What's genuinely wrong with her? What is her problem? Do you think Dawn has ever been normal? Maybe we'll figure that out in her canto. When I get there! When I finally get there! God! <laughs> Dawn is a hungry lass. She sure is. Where are my cats now? They're just eating shit off the floor. I don't know. Hey, DIY vacuum. Well, not really DIY. It's, it's not do-it-yourself. You're adopting a whole animal. Chat. Next canto should be Dawn's, actually. Yeah. That's, that's why I made the joke. I'm like, ha <laughs> Chat. Summer is drawing nearer. Which means ants are awake and alive, unfortunately. And thus begins my legendary war with the ants in my room. Because let me tell you, let me fucking tell you. I have issues with ants. No matter what, no matter how much spray I do, no matter how much I vacuum, no matter how much like shit I put out to like trap and kill them, my room is not dirty. It's just I have, there are ants. Everywhere. Okay, I'm a little dramatic with that. They're just by my desk. And every summer, I have a great war with ants, with the ants, while trying to not let anyone in my house n realize I have ants in my room. Because then I will get my ass beat or something. It's more of a pride thing. And basically, basically, Basically. What is your problem? Basically. One time, it's been like the past three years, I taped up my entire windowsill. Like a side of my windowsill, because I came in through there, because outside. Yet they still found a way in. And then I taped up a bunch of like because my house is old, so there's a lot of cracks in like the 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 join joinery of things. I'd like put tape on that. I put like seal it. I'd put fucking cement in there. They keep coming. So I'm going straight to the source. I'm gonna dig around in there, find that damn ant's nest. I'm gonna vacuum it up.
Because you know it's worked before? I leave something out. Because whenever they take it back, whenever they, like, I leave out like that sticky, gooey stuff they take back, it kills them. Never works. But you know it does work? Leaving something out, letting them all get on it, then vacuuming all those bitches up. They're already dead. They're already gone. And it works every time. And I know that's what I'm going to have to do now. I know it's ant season when I see them start crawling at my wall. I'm like, you bastards. It's fucking time. It's Kanto as Dawn's and Hong Lu's. Yeah. I'm not stinky. I am a completely normal person in a normal house that just happens to have ants being bastards. I can't wait for Hong Lu's Kanto. I'm so excited. My boyfriend. My husband. You guys can open my closet door, but you can't open my normal door to just come in? What's wrong with you? Why do, you, why do my cats like my closet so much? They're always in there. I have a bigger pile of clothes on my floor than in my closet. I think I have more clothes outside of my closet than in my closet, because I, I never put them away. I wash them, I get them out, and I just throw them on the floor. The pile of clothing on my floor is lovingly called Mount Clothing. For very obvious reasons. How long is killing these bitch ass chickens gonna take? Kill. Oh my god, Hong Lu. I love him so much. My baby girl. Hilarious. Gregor is my baby girl, but Honglu doesn't really have baby girl energy. He has like bastard energy. If I if that makes sense. Chimkin nugget, real. Spit yo shit. Honglu twirls my hair. Honglu twirls my hair. Twirls my hair. <laughs> Splendid. But like, why is Hong Lu so perfect, so amazing, so cool? Show-stopping, spectacular, breathtaking. You know, when I look at my love for characters like Gakupo, and then I look at Hong Lu, I'm like, I think I have a type here. Nay, what manner of foul trickery is this? The number has gone down whilst the judge has yet to even touch his dish. He says it's not even worth evaluating since what you said of it scared away his appetite. <laughs> Gregor's stupid fucking hat. That's a few more syllables than what the owner spoke, isn't it? Right he is. May this rejection be revoked. Hold it. Let me ask you guys this first. Have any of you even tasted this thing? This is team dumbassery. There are- n n there is nary a brain cell between any of these characters. You can't just feed other things you haven't tried yourselves. We're trying to please someone here. Mmm, clockface has got a point, I have to admit. Who wants to try this? The tension was thicker than when we were preparing for battle. I urge you not to look at me with such eyes. Permit me, if I may sacrifice- if my sacrifice helpeth to unfurl all the wickedness of the world. She's so honorable. Dawn, I love you. Don Quixote shut her eyes tight. Someone just get the damn stuff in their jaw. Heathcliff grabbed a lump out of the serving and shoved it into the nearest person's mouth. Hey guys, look who's in the back. Is that Hong Lu? Guys, is that Hong Lu back there? Holy shit, yo, is that Hong Lu back there? Wait, pause. Is that Hong Lu? 
Oh my god, no way. Get up here, Marisol. This isn't about you. Look at Hong Lu back there. Ooh, Hong Lu. Wait, how do I hide the UI? You know, that's not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Yoink. Marisol stood completely still at the unexpected taste test. Did that kill him on the spot? I swear upon my honor that I have done nothing to cause trouble this time. If Sir Virgilius is ever to ask who is responsible. Marisol turned to Heathcliff very slowly. The... The... What? The dressing is er er erroneous overall. Failure to properly cook the chicken has resulted in a residual stench of blood and other pleasant, unpleasant odors. The sauce is too thick to bring out a deep flavor. The inconsistent cuts of the meat contribute to the serving's inability to rouse one's appetite. What are my cats doing? <laughs> you got Gordon Ramsay on the team over here. Have you gone loony? That's what you have to say? Heathcliff, it's not Marisol's fault. Your dish sucks ass. None. I have not finished. Could you hear my jaw just pop? He's yapping, let him yap. Yeah, let him yap! The seasoning and spices are a complete disaster, and the taste in my mouth is even worse than plaster. Lacking sugar, you toss two and a half spoons of butter, and the end result simply belongs right in the gutter. Ooh! Bars! Fuck it up! He's rapping. This dish was so terrible, Marisol has just started spitting bars. That might be more impressive. He is French? No! Sorry, I scared my cats doing that. I am quite sorry. Yisong, I must ask if you aim to throng my teeth and prong my tongue by cooking wrong. Seeing as this plate's a headstrong lens to ding-dong notions of what food is to you all along. Bars! Why is he rhyming? Did the translation just match up so, like, perfectly? It's just, like... Cause that's, like, honestly impressive. I have not one excuse. One bloody moment. Is he possessed by something, or... Most people were unable to accept my point when I elaborated on my statements in detail. Because of that, I have not bothered to expand upon them until now. Additionally... I know, why don't we let Marisol take charge this time? Oh, no, you're so right. You're so right, man. He's roasting. No, it's no, it's on purpose, actually. Okay, thank. That would have been... It's funnier the other way, but that's, that's still good. Guys, listen to what Hong Lu's saying. He's talking. Guys, Hong Lu's talking. Can you believe that? Hong Lu's talking. Applause. Hong Lu swiftly made a suggestion with a shower of clasps to break the frigid tension before his turn to be condemned came around. We'll help you with everything you need. I do not prefer to have assistance around. What are you guys doing over there? My cats are getting into stuff. Fret not, we shan't disappoint you! Don Quixote bravely exclaimed, rolling up her sleeves. Mm. Cooking is not my specialty, but if you so insist, I will readily attempt it. L let's have a look at Ryoshu's team, then. I'm I'm expecting to look over there and Sinclair has been decapitated. While there was a spectacle occurring on Gregor's team, the air had grown intense among Ryoshu's crew. What? How in the wings name am I supposed to make food that's both salty and clean, sweet but not too sugary, and lightly cooked but somehow also crispy? Sinclair yelled, throwing the apron he had been wearing to the floor. I can't do this anymore! I guess Ishmael was right, beating Heathcliff at arm wrestling is gonna be easier than this! That, that was a joke. Statistically speaking, it is as likely as Sinclair's height increasing by 5 centimeters in just one week. In other words, a nigh impossible. <laughs> poor bastard, they're just raking on him. Shut up already, it's all the same. How weak, you cannot withstand a few criticism and criticisms and come whining like the pathetic soldier you are. If you're so darn sure of yourself, Otis, why don't you do it yourself then? 
As courageous as his rebuttal was, his eyes were shut tight. You leave me no choice. My cat's loafing. Great day. Oh, she's done by her! Out of my way, stragglers. It's about time someone led this troop. Hag in the hat. Hag in the hat. Hag in the hat. In a series of turbulent events I didn't fully catch, Marisol took up Gregor's culinary antenna and toke... Toke... Blanche? Oh! The kitchen grew busy as Gregor's sinners moved according to Marisol's order. Behold, Marisol! I have carved this one into the adorable shape of a star! Potatoes should be cut into square pieces so that they may be evenly cooked on all sides. Nevertheless... Square shapes, five centimeters. <laughs> Marisol looked more charismatic than ever with the mantle of his of head chef upon his shoulders. Uh, whatever, a chicken's a chicken. It can only be so special. Who knows? That lost recipes of his might be all superficial stuff like one spoon of earnestness and three scoops of effort. <laughs> oh, so this is how you cook potatoes. But you thought they harvested baked potatoes out in the fields? Taking me for a fool, aren't you? Obviously, ripe potatoes fall from their trees when the time is right. <laughs> so much, I'm gonna fucking destroy his cervix. Sorry, what? I think I need to be, like, put down. Like, I think for the betterment of society, I just need to be shot in the head. I was just kidding, Heathcliff. Well, what are you planning to do with that tenderizer? A serene flower has blossomed on this yam. Ah, so a bud can indeed bloom even upon this barren ground. Wait, why is the meat sprouting flowers? That might be mold. That is a sign that the potato is poisonous. It must be disposed of immediately. Don Quixote, confiscate it. Radio! Uh, please do not do such... Burnt things are significantly in their own ways. In truth, the state of being burnt may as well be an imaginary concept defined by mail and the essence of an object has remained unchanged. Yisang really is a professional yapper. He's yap maxing right now. I think we both need to know that Zerik's king is so true. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. Sorry, my cats are judging me. Burnt refers to the condition in which a food item is discolored beyond a certain degree and pro produces an acrid smell after prolonged exposure to high heat. And this one has burnt to its core. It's only right to discard it as long-term consumption of burnt food can negatively impact the body. How regrettable. Marisol became a ruthless chef while Yisan remained mostly unhelpful. Cliff was peeling ingredients at a surprisingly brisk pace. Don't gab at me. Don't ruin my focus. Neither a luxury. A real popper can peel any spud with nothing more than a metal spoon. This gets a pass. You are rewarded extra points for the expertise displayed in your aslant asl strokes. French people and their big words. They scare me. That's class. Watch closely. You need to employ a wide variety of ingredients. Being a picky eater is what stunted your growth. I, I can still get taller from here. I think. Also, an unbalanced diet is the reason why your hair is turned all gray. Faust has always had. Your hands in particular have become coarse and rough for the same reason. Excuse me? This is not because of all the work I did aboard the ship. Me next, Otis? What about me? What's the diagnosis? Don't yell frivolously like that. You're being a distraction. I think they- I think that entire team should kiss. Hear me out. I think they should kiss. And I think I'm completely right. And they should go And I think I'm completely correct. Mm. What is like the most popular Limbus ship? Oh, Cavus Battle Street. 
There's a dojo specifically about that, and everyone's looking for it. Wrong with my biggest strap. What, the dojo that everyone's kissing? He's Cliff and Ishmael by far. Honestly, I can see it. They're cute. They're cute together. You know, sometimes I'm not a big fan of straight ships because I'm like, hey, 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 gay. But, uh, you know, Heathcliff and Ishmael, very cute. I think they are adorable. They are also oh cute. What do you want, kitties? Yeah, everyone kissing Dojin. Sauce? 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 Actually, if you don't mind, I don't mind doing a relationship for everyone dating everyone. Yeah, everyone kiss. Just let me know you aren't all right for it. I think they should all go. Shipping wars? Lame. Make them all kiss. It's so easy. Why don't more people think like me? I'm so big brained, it hurts. Ishmael should kiss Heathcliff. Ishmael should ki oh, kiss Otis. What if they all kiss each other? Hear me out. And then I kiss Hong Lu. So, like, you know, that's it. He can be the only one left out. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Hee <laughs> hee. At the same time, can you imagine? They're just all, like, smushed in the middle. How many sinners are there? Like, 13. They're all just kind of, like, smushed in. And Marisol's face takes up like half of that circle. I remember seeing something that was like the stinkiest sinner. And it was like, it ranked like Ishmael as being super stinky. I feel like Ishmael would either be violently stinky from being on a boat or she would be so clean because she, because she knows what it's like to be not clean because she's been on a boat so it's like either that or she's gone nose blind Honglu smells delightful oh cat on the bed what is she doing okay king i have class now but get Honglu for me of course anything for you slime Yeah, I love, I love Limbus Company. I love, Lim I'm so glad I was, I, I was convinced to play this game. I'm so happy. What are you looking at, huh? You wanna fight? You wanna go, cat? Don't you love when your cats get, like, airplane ears and they go aerodynamic as fuck? I love this shit. I really need to get new headphones. I hate these ones. They like... They like squish in on my face and it like hurts my jaw. What can I say? I'm just too cool. I'm so cool that my face is too big for my own headphones. What does this mean for me? The world may never know. This may be This may be a mystery for the ages One that will never be answered I'm Gonna get those cat ear headphones I'm Trying to think So many things I need to get. So little money. I work all day, get very little money. Chicken, 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 chicken. Chicken! All our food keeps blowing up! I once had this thing with one of my friends 
a few years ago when this commercial was really popular, um, whenever any of us would say chicken, we'd slap the back of one of my friend's heads from that fucking Arby's commercial. Just chicken! It's like how a vibe check was a thing even more years ago and you would like just grab someone by the throat. That might have actually just been a me thing. I think specifically with vibe checks, you'd just hit someone with an improvised weapon for me and my friends. Like it cut, G. It was basically that. I remember when the vibe check thing was like a big when I was fucking in school. Uh me and my friend would do that, but we would just like grab each other by the throat as hard as we could. We wouldn't do anything else, we'd just like just go just like strangle each other. I we I was a weird fucking kid. I say that like I probably didn't do these things last week. I may be insane, and that's okay. I like you cut, G. Pet, let me interrogate you. How do you feel about Butler Faust that was just released? Please explain how you feel. Ooh, 130. Yems. Yems, that's all you gotta say. To the wonder- Ooh, 500! Oh my gosh. Splendid. I got Butler Faust the other day. How do you feel? You jealous? You jealous? You jealous? You jealous? Did you also get Butler Faust? She's like a three- she's like a, a two star or something. She's not that- she's not that rare. We're also getting made Ryoshu and Ishmael later this week. I saw that. When do we get made, Honglo? Sorry. I'm I may be insane. Wait, no. There she is. With the ring heights. I already have all the new stuff. Of course you do, you freak. You freak. When are they putting Hong Lu in the maid dress? You know how much money they'd get from that? You know how much money they'd get? Oh, the other one. You know how much, how much bank they would get if they put that bastard in the dress? <gasps> Sorry. Can we be insane? But that's okay. It's okay to be insane sometimes. It's allowed. It is allowed by international law to be an insane motherfucker. My cats are just loafing all over the place. Freaks. All of them. All right. Ooh, this looks different. Restauranters mild fathoms. Ooh, it needs a big boy to go in there. What is this? Is there a dungeon for this? For this? Ver for this? What, what what am I saying? Chapter side thing? <sighs> what if I was insane? You know we only have two chances left, right, team? How about we start with Marisolts made by following the formula to a T? Paired with pinpoint precision, Marisolts dish look like a picture in a cookbook come to life. Right, we have something that looks like an actual serving, so that's a good start. After having a taste of Marisol's work, the restaurant owner quietly savored it, contemplating for a while. Me? Gongaga. I had to ruminate on this dish for a long time. It was an excellent serving with... In all tangible ways, the smell, the taste, the presentation, yet I felt that it was still missing something I couldn't quite describe with words. Gaga. And that was professionalism as a cook. An ironic smidgen of a blemish with imperfection. Oh! 
That is why this dish cannot get a pass, unfortunately. He suddenly starts sounding like a posh judge. Someone tug the mask off that blighter's head. The only thing distorted about him might be his crooked attitude. I can't read French. Nevertheless, I hold no regrets over this battle. Yeah, so chickens aren't bum-rushing us this time. Only one chance left, Otis brought her dish to the table. It looks neat. Nothing too fancy, but still simple and clean. What are these couple of needles on the dish for, Otis? They look like clock's hands. They are a simple decoration, I added, in tribute to you, executive manager. She's got the smug expression. It's the Otis smug expression. <laughs> Ooh, I'd get bonus points if I could. Ugh. Whoa. The comment then followed from the owner it was too sensational for me to put into words. Oh, you're such a mess! What are you doing with that freaky mask on your head? Back in your mama's day, we grinned and bore with all sorts of nonsense. How are you going to live through this unforgiving world if you get all heartbroken over something so small? Get it together already! My mother was always like that. Rather than kind and caring words, she would scold me with her nitpicky lectures. She was so particular about chicken, too, rarely touching a piece that anybody else would take in a heartbeat. The chicken's tragic backstory. Yeah, what am I reading? Running this restaurant, I had forgotten something important. I. Oh, mother. Now's our chance! The distortion or whatever on him is weakening! Look at this, some kind of doors appear next to him. Should we go through it? What made Odie's dish stand out anyway? Let us march, soldiers. May we see the end of this. I think Otis just put actual cocaine in there. Like, I think she might have just actually doused it with cocaine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past a soldier to just, like, put fucking drugs in there. Like, I... Like, I really wouldn't. It's like how they used to put cocaine in Coca-Cola. Dude. I would fuck up cocaine and Coca-Cola. I gotta know what it tastes like. Do you think it was good? Like, do you think it was much different? Do you think I could still buy that? Do they have listings for cocaine? Where to buy Coca-Cola with the cocaine in it? Oh, wait. Is the cocaine thing a lie? Huh. Oh my god, my cat looks so fucking cute. Oh! We're going into a dungeon, baby! The chicken backstory! Oh, wow, this is a lot of stuff. Um... Let's go with this. I, I still don't completely take a pick. Okay, I will. I still don't completely understand. He is one hairbrush long. What are they? Ego gifts and like what 100% everything means, but you know, I try my best, so that's what matters. That's what matters in the end. <laughs> Hong Lu. I don't know if I showed this, but I also got Dimension Shredder for Yi Song and Hong Lu. I don't remember what I've shown. Oh, I got this from the Battle Pass. That shit looked like the Battle Pass. And then I still have jack shit for Heathcliff. That should look like the battle pass. Oh, this is just like a mirror dungeon. Oh, much longer mirror dungeon, though. With all the fucking chickens in the background. Alright. You wanna do five? 
Well, I guess that actually is fine. Those are the only ones I have leveled up. <laughs> Guys, what if I like just come like off stream? I sped, sped ram playing this game, and then all of a sudden next stream I'm just on Canto Six. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like, would anyone be mad, or would that just be kind of impressive? <laughs> it's like, I stream tomorrow. Hmm. Hongu always rolls high on Mutilate. It's so good. Maybe he's just that good. He's just that cool. He's just so awesome. He's just so fu- He's just so cool. He's just so awesome. Raj is so cool. Oh, Honglu, you disappoint me right now. I just praise you, and this is all, this is the thanks I get. You roll a five on mutilate, you motherfucker. I'll kill you. I knew I should have played Femboy Solitaire today. That's a mage. Yeah, I'll send you that picture of my cat because it's really cute. It's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. You're right, baby. Ooh, dominating. Bum, bum, bum. Peak loafing? Exactly. Bro, it's, it's so cute. My cats are so cute. HDMI cable and bicycle spoke. The beloved. My little creatures. We love HDMI cable and bicycle spoke. Eheh, <laughs> organge. Orgijange. Guys, do I drink like, like five day old Gatorade right now? Because I'm debating it. Thortisty. Thortisty. I think I should. Because I'm thirsty, but the kitchen is like so far. <laughs> desperate times like these call for desperate measures. Gotta start drinking my own piss. You know, maybe I am insane, but you know, it's it's it's, it's fucking fine. It's fine. Who gives a shit? Who cares? I can be insane all I want. <laughs> Is it really like 9.30? What? Huh. I guess, yeah, it is. I was like, oh, I'm gonna... And stream really to watch battle, but like, goddamn, I I might hit two hours by then. What? Two hour Andy. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Look at those butterflies! Aren't they just beautiful? And Gander at the sunset too really makes you want to go for a stroll. Why don't you stop here for a moment and take a breather? Something yellow gestures warmly at you. Take a break. Really, check out those butterflies. Just watching them will warm your heart. You look at the butterflies as the voice suggested. They indeed fill the heart with a certain warmth. Looks like some of them want to tag along. A kaleidoscope of butterflies start following you, even after you left that scenic spot. Eclipse of Scarlet Moth. Ooh, 
That was cute. All right, go here. I, I love when not all abnormalities. Oh, hi, Kit Kat. I love when all abnormalities aren't like evil want to eat and cannibalize you. Some are just like, hey, what's up, man? Bubber fly. Appreciate it, King. What do you want, kitty? You just like chilling down there by my feet? What's up with cats and liking feet? My cat's kind of weird about my feet. Hey, that's my headphone wire. Get your own. Hmm. Man, I love streaming because I can yap all I want and some people will be like, yeah, that's the good shit right there. Who here loves yapping? Who's yap maxing? <laughs> but. Sorry, I just like tap my cat on the butt with my foot. You know, sometimes I forget I'm on stream and I'm saying things and these things are being heard by other people and I'm not just in my room alone talking to myself. And I have to like reevaluate everything I do. <laughs> I'm gonna read out the French nuclear codes and no one can stop me. What are you doing, kitty? Haha, <laughs> she's so cute. I find it funny that some people are like, yeah, I'm just lurking with you in the background. I'm like, why do you want to listen to me yap? What what do I provide that's substantial? I'm just saying shit. Sometimes I'm just talking about how, you know, they put cocaine in Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola y espuma. I'm always lurking. Tet, you're lurking in my everyday life. I still don't believe that you're not in my walls. What the fuck are you up to, bro? Good ass cat. Bicycle spoke on the loose. There's ants in here. Can you like vacuum them up for me? They bother the shit out of me. I have such like a genuine hatred and fear for bugs. Like sometimes I get freaked out at night because I'll think there's so many bugs in my wall. I know they're all in there. And it's like, God. And it's not like that sort of insane where you're like, there's bugs in my skin. I need to get them out. No, there's just, it's just a fact. There are bugs in my walls. There are bugs in everyone's walls and I hate it. And it makes me feel insane. So often I have like reoccurring nightmares about just being surrounded by like giant spiders and way too many bugs and they're crawling all over me. Ooh. The other day I was taking a shower and there's like this little ledge I put my phone on to listen to music. And I went to go put that that phone, my phone on the ledge, and there was a giant fucking cricket there, like one of those, one of those like black, like really thick crickets. And I just scream. And I don't scream often, like just screams of genuine fear. But I did for that stupid cricket, and it's a cricket. It was a spider. It was a weird beetle. Yeah, maybe, but it was a cricket. Dear Lord, what the hell is this? A bright spotlight shines on a portion of the noisy area. It seems as though the chickens are attending a 
ball. That's the tango. Get their movements, which might be a dance for a tussle. You notice sauce leaking from one of them. It doesn't seem to be aware of this. Alert, truthfully. You saw nothing. Give it a few subtle hints. Alert it truthfully. Heed me! Sauce is leaking from my body! My head is on crack. Don't shout it that loud, you dummy. Notice... Notified of its leakage, a chicken quickly ran its wings over its back, or what appeared to be its back, rather. Sadly, the knot had loosened its stitching. Does that mean a kid to its own? No. Approaching with a trail of sauce dripping behind, it held some thread and a needle in its hands or wings. Does it want you to stitch it back? We're stitching up a chicken! We're stitching up a chicken! Uh, Hung Lu, you get to stitch up the chicken. Yes! Keef. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to feel the pain in the needle. As the sewing was done, it hopped into Hong Lu's lap as if to thank them. Hong Lu was pleasantly perplexed. I always make Hong Lu do these. Because for some reason, he's always very high. Nice. And just... Staring at my cat. And always rolls high. Because of the mutilate thing. Just always is like, it's either 5 or it's 30. And most of the time, it's 30. But it's always a gamble. He hasn't failed me yet. Oh, you're still down there? Hello. My allergies were so bad. I, was, I thought I was getting a nosebleed midstream. I'm like, uh oh. Would have been kind of sick, though. I remember one time I got like the most insane nosebleed in the shower and I just thought I was dying. Just like genuinely. I just stand there, it just starts pouring from my nose. I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's just my time. It's just over. If only. For a crisp $5, I'll bottle up my blood and I'll pour it over a corpse in the cemetery, uh, creating a homunculus. Is that how you make homunculi? I don't know. I want to make my own homunculus. I just think it'd be fun. You're telling me you wouldn't want a little creature walking around? I would. I can command it, like a cruel emperor. Bring me this, my homunculi. I desire it. It's like having your own personal servant, but it's also you. But then, like, wouldn't the homunculus kind of try to... Well, the homunculus wouldn't be you. It would be made kind of from you, right? How the fuck do homunculi work? But then would it try and kill you and take your place? Or maybe if you make it different enough, it won't? But what if it thinks it's you and then tries to be you? And then it would skin you and wear you as a suit. See, these are the real questions that the government needs to be answering us. Not like some random shit about uh, the heat index of Arizona. No, I want to know would my homunculi try and kill me? The clone... No, no clone of me wants to be me. I don't want to be me. But with the homunculi I want to, because it's not exactly me. Is a homunculi just a kid? Like, can you just give birth to some homunculi? No, because it's artificial, right? What am I fucking talking about? What am I on about? Does anyone know? I don't know. I just need to play the damn game. I'm sometimes given too much power on streams to just like random- just broadcast my thoughts to people. I need to be kept in check. 
I need to be like locked in a cage somewhere of an enclosure and fed like slices of bananas through the bars. I need to be put on display or something. Hmm. Uh oh. I don't think I have enough to heal anyone anyway, so whatever. Is there more than one floor? Oh, there's just one floor. Okay, easy. GG, easy. What else can I yap about with reckless abandon? I'm having visions I've never seen before. These must be his memories. It might be recollections that he partially had lost due to the shock. Ooh, I finally found it. I thought he'd kept his top secret recipe locked up tight and away, but he was using it as a trivet to eat ramen. Is that my restaurant's recipe? How did you get your hands on it? I sent a spy. Did you really think a part-timer willing to come in an hour early to help with prep on minimum wage would actually exist? But why? Why would you? I have no choice. If I don't meet the quota HQ demands for me, my restaurant will be shut down. The, the recipe's still in my head. Two spoons of sugar, one and a half spoons of soy sauce, then admin's garlic. It's no use. I'll have it burnt in the concept incinerator. Any trace of the recipe will be gone, including the memories in your head. No! Two spoons of sugar, one and a half spoons of soy sauce. Like I said, you should have shut down your restaurant when I warned you. Too sugar. No, was it sugar? I can't remember a thing. This is so dramatic for chicken. I never liked that pest. Knew he was riding upon all the NSOP signs plastered over his walls. If it was put in the concept incinerator, the recipe is as good as gone. What the hell is a concept incinerator? What's a concept incinerator? But never mind, Ishmael. Your face tells me I don't want to ask about it. I want to know. I'm with Gregor! Pardon? The concept incinerator it is a trusted method of permanently erasing a technology. For instance, it has the ability to, mis to, make, to make it as if Miss Foss never invented Mephistopheles. Does it turn things back in time? No, not quite. It is simply... It simply is oblivionized, as though the brain had never conceived it. Any documentation, photography, the tiniest bits and parts of his composition, and even Miss Foss's own memories will be dimmed and obliterated. The effectiveness and range of the incineration will depend on the price of the product. It's true. I can't remember if the marinade was based on pepper or soy sauce, how much sugar or salt I put. Nothing's left in my head. None of my customers can remember how it tasted. There's no use in trying at this point. It's all useless. You're soft-hearted. Moonbongs? You should do away with that tacky name and give your restaurant a better title. Moonbong is my mother's name. Oh. Be a nice one, Otis. I, I suppose tacky can also mean a friendly warmth. The problem is still your weak will. Just, why are you so eager to start fights? Come, I will fix that helpless attitude of yours. Otis runs a alpha male training camp. She would she would run one of those like alpha male boot camps. But she just wants to run a regular boot camp and just tricks people into joining it. And then Rio, she's just money money laundering from it. And I you know what? Good for her. It's what she deserved. Deserves. Z -z -z -z. Whoa! Papa Bongi. Ooh, ooh, fuck it up, 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 fuck it up. Alright. Okay. 
Can I? I swear to God. Papa Bongi. I think you should just hire those chickens as employees. I think it would work. And my cats just lock themselves in the closet. Those dumbasses. That's like the thumping you're hearing. They're just like knocking around in there. What the fuck are you guys doing? Hold on one second. My cats have a strange streak of locking themselves in closets. It's happened in like every closet in my house. I can't get them to stop. Papa Bongi. Just hits Foss with a chicken. Oh my god, Foss is like almost fucking dead. Jesus Christ, bro. Get out of that chicken, bitch! Rah! Dear Lord. Alright. Three twenty reminds me the holy weed day is coming up. Kill, 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 kill. Oh my god, Hong Lu twirls my hair. Ooh, staggered. It's time. Twitch. <laughs> just gonna have him wail on this chicken bitch. Just <laughs> just I know you could like speed up your egos by like just holding the mouse on their screen. I'm not doing it right now because I just want to watch it. But like, radical. Sometimes I wish there was like a speed up button for combat for when you're like a mirror dungeon. Just like when you're getting through like those first few, like the first two floors before like you can actually get into like any good fights. That's what it feels like. Papa Bongi. Yeah, Gregor Ego. He never lets me down.
Who dominating? Mmm, chimkin. Chimkin nugget. It's <laughs> a light donk. Snickers hand. Kill, 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 kill. Ooh, dimension shredder time. Should have them focus on the little, little, little bongies or the papa bongie. I'm going with the big boy. You always kill the big man on campus, and then you're the big man on campus. See, it's prison rules. Yeah, chicken chop. Bro, like, heal? Jesus. Try and get those chickens dead. One chicken down. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit, boss died. One out. L plus ratio. Honglu dimension shredder time. Ooh, we should go for the chicken bucket. Aim for the chicken. Oh, first dodge. Holy shit. Hung oh, is so cool. Bonk. Fucking up, you song. The chickens just keep coming out. It's no use. They keep coming. Because there's a harder version of this fight. Bruh. Of course Larry is. My cats are just back in the just back in the closet again. Don't know what they're up to half the time. You can hear them thumping around in there. Uh-oh. 
Oh, you song's still alive? Goated. Oh, bro is on 2 HP. That's crazy. Can you go for the chicken bucket? You know what? He's about to die anyway. Lamo. Bruh! My cats just keep locking themselves in the goddamn closet. Oh, you saw him dead. Lamo. Jesus! Bro! Just killed Raja in like one hit. Can we do it? Probably not, but it'd be really funny if we did. No, you're both going for that damn chicken bucket. Uh oh. My cats are so stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I just had to go for- okay, well, that was... Alright. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. Hold on, I gotta go save my cats again. My cats have been freed from their fucking closet prison. Running this chicken joint, I had forgotten something important. That's right, the chicken I had wanted to cook was something that even my mother could enjoy. Something to please her extremely particular taste. No, wait. I knew all along. The real reason Mama wouldn't eat chicken is because we couldn't afford to feed the whole family. Why? I always had a stash of coupons on at home. Two of them could be exchanged for a free chicken. My mother would keep collecting them for me. She did all that to feed me a chicken you wouldn't eat. She's so kind. Hmm? Pizza. These are pizza coupons. Son, your mama. She liked pizza better. Oh, my head. He's going back to normal. That was a sound plan. Carrot and stick approach is an effective tactic often employed in military operations. That it was a plan? I don't see how it was any different from your usual falling out and striking first. It was subtle, and this r strapping young lad caught my hint and followed well. The, the, the thing you, Captain Otis. You almost called him Rookie, didn't you? Can't thank you enough. I think I'm ready to start anew. It wasn't the recipe I needed. As long as I remember to cook from the heart for those I care about. I can't do that. That would hurt too much. Even if it comes in the shape of a pizza, I know my customers will still appreciate their earnest servings. Boy, your rival promised us a lifetime voucher for free chicken. What do you have? I thought I'd be stuffing my face with drumsticks of countless flavors by now. It's nothing much, but please take this. The owner of Umbangs gave us a wrapped up box. It's an invaluable treasure of mine. There's nothing else like it. Jesus Christ, I missed all of that. Please resolve the distortion and claimed our spoils. It's gonna be something. It's gonna be a box of free pizza coupons. Pray tell, pray tell. Are you perhaps speechless with astonishment at the glory of our tale? We then embarked to Unbongs, was where I turned out. That means you have he you've heard nary a word! 
Or should I bother listening to your embellishment drivel? When false reports will fill me in on all the details I need. Come on now, donkey. Forget about the sourpuss and gather around so we can open the box. <laughs> I wonder what's inside. No! Pudding pudding! Pudding pudding! Giga pudding! You know what's inside this box? Giga pudding. Surrounded by cinders full of anticipation, the lid was lifted. Meet Bungie, the one and only doll of our mascot. I made it hoping I'd see I'd see use one day, but I'm glad to be giving a, it as a gift of gratitude. It's so cute! Look at it! Oh, It's so cute! No way, this can't be it. Maybe he had something in the plush's belly? He didn't seem like the kind of person to do that. Wanna go back, what, to the bongi? He's probably trying to get rid of him. We were there to take it, huh? Let's toss this thing in that consinerator. I hand gently tugged the doll Heathcliff had gripped with ferocious rage. Calon likes this passenger. What's there to like about? It's got eyes and nothing else. It's nice. Alright, that's that then. Keep the doll. That is an incorrect assessment as the doll has a torso and limbs. Just like that, the chicken plushie we got instead of free food of life for life earned its seat on the bus. Yes, Chief Dongran. The distortion has been resolved. I confirmed it with my own eyes. They did seem somewhat unreliable at first, yes, but I believe it should be okay to speak with, speak with them. Yes, I'll bring them over now. It's one hell of all things. I dislike sentences that lack a subject. Once that restaurant reopens, we'll lose all our customers. I'll miss the quota and... You should have started looking for a way to live the moment you put the stolen recipe in concept incinerator. Have you ever heard the saying, if you rob a house, make sure the homeowner never realizes it? I, I don't know anything about... I didn't... Yes, of course you wouldn't. I just made that up. Remember it well next time. I'll see you around. I have visitors that need greeting. Before long, we were dragged into a mess of unprecedented scale. Hmm. Bro, this is just chicken. How we get how we get fucked up like this? Oh what? Uh huh. Oh what? Oh what? Um, bum, 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 pudding, 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 da 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 da, giga pudding, pudding, pudding. Bum, bum, giga pudding. Cool. Is that the end of that little bonus bonus story, or is there a little more? Hmm. 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 I'm waiting. Where's the chicken? I want the chicken. I love the little bongy plush. I love the little mascot. It's so cute. Bongy. If it ever loads. Ah! Whoa, there's more. Dante's records, bus's back door beyond the bus's corridor. Ooh. That's fun. Oh, there's more? Interesting. So let's do this. Hello, kitties. I want my lunacy, baby. I want that good shit.
Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, sure. All right, how will my ass be handed to me this time? What's going to happen now? Actually, I think I kind of want to play... I want to look at that Dante's Notes thing. I want to look at the minis. I just want to see what those are. I'm guessing, because like this, I don't think it's going to have any more story. It's just going to be another dungeon. I'm going to look at that. Because I'm going to end before 10.30, so I'm like 20 minutes or something like that. Watching Yi Song get absolutely annihilated. Boo! I really want to catch up on the Cantos. Oh, I want. Ah, probably tomorrow I'm going to start Canto 4. Yes! Hee hee hee. Because tomorrow is Manager Monday. <laughs> Give him Raja. The rest of those are cutscenes, honestly. Splendid. I want to see what they are. I just want to take a peek at one. After this fight. Lamau. <laughs> GG, easy. Trying to make that water droplet sound. I can't do it. To a window. As soon as I forget with my model, you can see when I open my mouth because I was just like making like faces and I was like, wait, hold on, they can see that. Man, I wish Club Penguin was still around. You know how banger of a stream Club Penguin would be? Unmatched. Hmm. Hmm. At first. Dante's records. I 
Dante. Mephistopheles doesn't roar and grumble ahead all day long. Mephisto is an engine that needs rest from time to time, much like how Charon is still a human who needs regular breaks. Are you still awake, Miss Faust? There are a few things left to check. As the engine is treated harshly during operation, it needs to be well maintained while at rest. To substantiate her words, Faust carried light tools and a small mechanical device in place of her usual hander. Sorry, I need to clear my throat. You're working hard. This barely counts as work. To witness Foss Magnum open Opus Cordus being overworked with no time for care takes a greater toll, rather. She said this after making a light smile. Do you like this update in particular? Foss looked down at me, using a handheld device. Oh, this thing? Yes, I believe previously you weren't fiddling with it as often. It's nothing much, I was just making the most of this new feature I've needed. Whenever Foss requests a break for routine maintenance, my LCB PDA also receives updates. The updates occasionally come with additional functions, and this time... A note? The device didn't have this functionality until now? It didn't, surprisingly enough. You didn't know that? I thought you were omniscient, Faust. Faust only knows everything that Faust knows. Pardon me for a moment. She took a peek at the screen of my tablet. Are you attempting to write an encyclopedia, Dante? I mean, you keep using words, I don't know, stuff like fixers or whatever wings are. Might be common vocabulary for you all, but not me. I understand. I do suppose you've lost all memory of the city. Yup. So I want to write down most stuff here. And copy down the things I've been scribbling on paper while I'm at it. This clock on my shoulder should be replaced with yet another head at any moment. There's no guarantee the memories I have right now will stay with me. That's why I must prepare a backup plan like this. So I don't forget twice. Hmm? We got notes, we got notes, we got notes, we got notes. Notes, 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 notes. Aw, my cats, they look so cute. Little babies. Little itty bitty babies. Load master. Load master. Oh, they're so eepy sleepy. Oh, is that it? Really was a mini. The bus's back door. That <laughs> will you enter bus's back door? Hell yeah. I'm sorry, Faust. What the hell? Without warning, the bus ground to a sudden halt in the back streets. We'll stop here today. Caron, I fear we haven't quite reached the destination. We're approximately 15% short of the target location. Considering our schedule, proceeding at least 3% farther would be ideal. I don't sleepy. Excellent bus drivers don't drive while sleepy. God, it just stops stomping the brakes every damn time. You know how much you've done this? Forsooth, Sir Heathcliff has crashed his nose into the back of the front seat for the fourth time, which must signify that this is the fourth screeching halt to occur. Leave the wheel as soon as you start feeling sleepy said the radio. That's a good point, but you need to be a bit more flexible about that sort of thing. Woohoo! A statement as plain as that can be quite amusing depending on who says it. Ah, uh, the minted boy agrees with me, huh? It's funny when the least flexible one says that kind of gabble. What was that? If that's what you're playing at. What about that old fogey over there who still thinks she's a wartime general? Ishmael pointed to Otis, whose veins were beginning to stick out on her veteran and placid face. This is a prime example of the terror of learned fear. It's happened enough to be familiar, but it's rather intimidating to hear Virgilia send the bus into chilling silence with a single gesture or utterance. What is it? We were all happily chattering moments ago. No reason not to continue. Weren't you signed to go on a proper rampage after? I was stretching. Felt a bit stiff. Load of him. 
It's laughable how you behave. You're like dogs that drool at the sound of a bell. If you've got complaints, remember that my office in the back always has open hours. I'll make time for consultations. Miss Faust, I leave the rest to you. Of course. Virgilius nonchalantly pa walked past the sinners and their piercing stares with Caron on his side and both stood at the back of the bus. Open Perlia. It's Sesame, Caron. Caron knows. It's not like magic phrases are what opens doors, anyway. I suppose so. While they exchanged corny jokes, the door large enough to fill the back side slowly opened. Been a few months, but still weirds me out every time I see it. It's bigger on the inside, right? As the back door opened, a splendid, narrow, deep, spacious hallway revealed itself. An endless corridor that looked to go on forever. Far into this hallway, Classy pulls dem demarcate the end of the area we're allowed to traverse, standing in front of unending lines of red light. Though the place seems comfy, something about it makes eerie feelings creep up. Now that I think about it, is that one of those singularities belonging to a wing? Frau Foss, do you know anything? Of course it is known, but I'm certain you do not you do know that I cannot speak of them in much detail, her Gregor. Could seem to be a bit nicer about it. This is a corridor. That's correct. It's a corridor. Yeah, it sure is. A long hallway with doors to rooms on the side. Of course it's a corridor. So they don't just sleep on the bus seats. They got rooms. IF. What are you trying to... Pff, whatever. I'm too tired. Dante, please hurry on with it. Gregor's words snapped me out of idly staring down the edge of passage. Oh, yeah, right. Dante, while I understand that you may feel it to be an unnecessary repetitive act, simply put, the executive manager's approval is a vital part of the procedure. Please understand. No need to put it like that, Miss Faust. With that answer, I got up from my seat and stood at the front of the bus, looking at the crew. I hereby confirm today's close of business for the sinners. Thank you kindly. Starting now, you will be given a maximum of 12 hours to partake, partake in sleep and rest. The duration is subject to change. Have a good night. As soon as Foss finished speaking, the sinners walked along with groans and sighs. Ah, oh, jeez. Man, I'm whipped. A fine night, young Sinclair. What say you another game of chess? No thanks, Don. You always run into, you always run into Mr. Yi Sung for hints whenever you're losing. This is untrue, Sinclair. That was because I could not bear to watch the grievous misplacements. That's even worse. Ponsor, manager. Bonjour. And thank you for today's work. As for tonight's watch... Oh, Marisol. Thanks for suggesting. Yeah, I wasn't really feeling sleepy today. Then, Otis suddenly intervened. Executive manager, allow me to remind you that I am always willing to stand in for night watch duty if you ever feel fatigued. Yeah, yeah, babu babushka de camp. How's about we get inside now? Executive manager, your hard daytime work must... Sure, let's get you to bed, Grandma. Ishmael gave a small nod and proceeded to dragonly chaperone Otis through the back door with Raja. Then, at last, Faust and I remained. It was fortunate, Dante. Had they not forced Otis to retire, she would have nagged you for the duty of Night Watch for quite a while again. <laughs> that does happen a lot. I commented back as I watched the sinners head into the corridor, one after another. After Raja had entered and closed the door, Ishmael opens the same to get inside. You said the door leads to a different space each time it opens, right? Yes, as long as the sinner is in the right mental condition, the door will lead to lodging appropriate for rest and personal use. Lodging, is it? They looked more like jail cells last time I peeked through the window. Still, she must mean it can be used as a personal living space for sleep, showers, self-care, and all that. You seem to have other questions besides that. My clock has no eyes, nose, or mouth, and yet... Somehow, it feels as though Foss reads something out of me. Not that she'll tell me how she manages it. You know, just curious about what's over there. I pointed down the far end of the corridor with my finger. Right to the horizontal depths of the seemingly endless corridor. As I have told you repeatedly, it is best not to be curious about it, Dante. As expected, Foss chose to walk into the corridor with a faint sigh instead of a real answer. And yet, just maybe, Foss knew all along. She... Knows it all, as she likes to say. 
Maybe she knew that I would learn what lies beyond in the corridor soon enough. Woo! I always wondered, I was like, do they just sleep on those hard-ass seats? I'm like, there's like... I was like, is there magic rooms in the back of the bus? And apparently, I was somehow right. I, I honestly didn't even expect that. How was I correct? Magic bus rooms. What is back there? Ooh, spooky. Ooh. Where is this area? Like, where's the- where the fuck do they- where do they go? Beyond the bus's corridor. We'll see what this is about. This game is basically magic school bus in here, Miss Frizz. Seat belts, everyone! Today we're going inside a giant fucking lizard. It happened exactly a week after that fruitless exchange. I hereby confirm today's close of business for the sinners. Thank you kindly. Starting now, you will be given a maximum of 12 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss gives the same instructions as always. In response, sinners groan and stretch like usual. Except this time, one sinner stuck out of that normalcy like a sore thumb. What now? Even B, is she? It's not the first time he's all grumpy like that, is it? Heath, make sure to simmer down before you get in your room, K. All that grumbling thunder in there keeps me awake, you know? Sinner's rooms, their lodging, personal space, and cell. Fuck their state of mind, or so I've heard. Each room's floors, walls, and overall ambience are shaped after the sinner's personality. The view through the window changes depending on their emotions and mental state. Though, all I've seen were distant glimpses through the window, so I don't have the details. A room Heathcliff enters would sometimes, actually rather frequently, emit withering and storming sounds. Usually he'd snap back with, why should I, or something like that, but he only clicks his tongue. I suppose he doesn't feel like arguing. Thanks to that, he stood in the corridor until all the other sinners, save for Faust, went into their room, staring down the passage with a frown. Maybe he was relieving stress this way. A hole? And that right there is where the incident began. Huh? Boy, what's with all those doors down the aisle? Eagle pointed in the same exact direction I did a week ago. Those doorways were beyond the no trespassing line blocking the way. Heathcliff, I recommend against walking further into the corridors than necessary. Huh. That sure makes it sound awful suspicious. There is nothing of which to be suspicious. You are better off listening to Faust. What, you keep treasure or some such bat in, the bu 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 in there? Faust's secretive attitude was enough to rouse his curiosity. Heathcliff, do not do it. You will regret your action. Got well emotional gobby, eh, Miss Cleverness? It's like you're actually hiding something there. He sprinted into the dark before we could stop him. But what's in there? Just as I was about to ask Foss an obvious thing to be concerned over. <gasps> Screams of pain. Heathcliff's sharp scream echoed from the unlit area far into the corridor. Dante, now is the time to take my left hand and run with me. Well, huh? I won't be able to get him out in time on my own. I may be engulfed myself if I don't act, qu act quickly. Before I could process what she meant, Foss ran off in the direction Heathcliff disappeared. Ah, sh shuckaroonies! Thanks, Dante. As we crossed the line and proceeded deeper into the corridor, we came across a three-way cross cord crossroads. I think I heard screams coming from the middle. However, without a moment of hesitation, Foss darted for the left aisle. Boss, I know in your hurry, but are you sure this is the right way? I could have sworn I heard his voice come from the center path. I know. Without elaborating further, Foss continued running. At another fork we encountered, Foss chose the right path. Right afterwards, she entered the fifth door on the left side of the hallway. What is this? Right as I entered, another hall came into view. Its end was like a cliff. To be more precise, I felt some kind of gravitational pull trying to get me to fall to the end half of the hallway. Heathcliff! Then I saw him. He crawled towards us with all his might from the middle of the hall. As if he might fall the moment he lets go. What the hell is this in this place? 
Even though I couldn't see much in the dark behind him, I definitely felt some presence in it. Boss, what's over? Dante, I want you to hold the knob of this door open tightly. Firmly grip my hand as well. Holding my hand securely, she gradually approaches Heathcliff. This hallway isn't tilting or anything, isn't it? Why does it feel like we're hanging off a cliff? That is because we're in a corridor, obviously, Dante. Don't let go. This clears up nothing. Reminding me to hold fast, Foss extended her other arm while holding her sway hander. Heathcliff grabbed. Heathcliff, grab this if you would. Are you mental? My hand will get gashed if I try grabbing that giant blade. So much pref prefer deep wounds on your palms if that's what you suffered if to what you can suffer down there. Baffled, Heathcliff looked at the sword and then the darkness behind him. Dante, pull him up. Might and main. You got it. I can't make the noises, so I just make horrible ones. Right as we pulled Heathcliff up. No, I'm not sure if it's even right to say that we pulled him up, but nevertheless, Faust hoisted his unconscious body by the legs and started rushing, saying that we need to return the way we came. Following her lead, I supported his arms and trailed behind, keeping his head from dragging along the floor. After burning some time. Whew, let us say that it was fortunate he wasn't lost in a deeper area. Dante, you'll have to turn the clock. Heathcliff's gonna be okay, right? Psychological damage is likely to be severe. Our work will be encumbered if he loses his mind. Ugh. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> Good work back there, Dante. While it is unfortunate that we have lost a portion of our limited break, break time to this, Foss, just what's in there? Where does it lead? Can't you tell me at this point? I've seen that stuff now. It was only natural that I want to know what resides there, what was chasing Heathcliff. Moreover, why did it never show itself to us, and why did it vanish instead of chasing him any further? These questions were driving me crazy, but alas. As stated earlier, there are limits to what Foss can elaborate. Yep, I honestly didn't expect much. The corridor, UIF. Yoshu muttered with a cigarette in her mouth, walking past us both. She must have left her room while we were out on our rescue mission. However, Foss proceeds as if not a soul had just walked by, as if nothing was just said. Huh? You did prevent a sudden vacancy in the bus department. Though I wouldn't exactly call it a reward, I do suppose it isn't a bad idea to inform you of one thing. Ooh, let me hear it! The unexpected boon had me rubbing my hands together. Right, what will she tell me now? Dante, when you traverse a road you've never walked before, what do you do? I mean, you use a map, obviously? That's right. Then, even if you don't have a map, your brain will form images to serve as one. From there, on that map, you will be a starting point and a destination clearly marked. When you return from your trip, you will trace back through that way. Hopefully, that makes it clear enough. What? Oh, that's the wrong thing. I need to look at the log. So obvious, I don't need to verbally answer. I just nodded along. Oh. This is why you should remember where you started at the corridor, especially when you open a door. Flabbergasted by the abrupt end, I blurted. Now then, Foss has grown tired. Do take care. She walked through the door before I could say something, leaving me with a riddle. Of course it would go like this. I sighed out of frustration. But not a breath of air is expelled from my pitiful clock. Sorry, I thought my nose started bleeding again. It was like just, it just like went. Ooh, gross. <laughs> All I can do is boot up this electronic notebook and piece together what little information I have collected. What the fuck is back here, bro? Which is weird considering Faust was like, oh yeah, Heathcliff would die, die back there. What the hell is, what the hell is back here? Freaker. And she knew perfect. What the hell is this? I'm so. I want to know. I want to know. I must know. I must know more than anything.
What are down the other corridors? But that is a, a different story. Anyways, time to end. I'm tired. I'm gross. I have a Gavis Battle stream to catch. I'll play more Limbus Company tomorrow and we'll actually start Canto 4. Yeah, Canto 4. We'll get to that. Uh. <laughs> See you later, suckers. Peace out, cuz.